Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're going to unbox from the classic Batman TV series. Here comes McFarlane Toys, Catwoman. Meow. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room. Come from Mom Tours. And today we're going to take a look at Batman's classic TV series. Here comes Catwoman. This beauty is from McFarlane Toys and it's for ages 12 and up. You have DC McFarlane Toys and it looks like you can see that she brings some little like the things that would pop up in the old days. Uh, right here it says, I right? And she brings one. The other one's like, yeah, you know, something kind of like she would say. But you could see Catwoman kicking back behind her window pane, locked in her plastic prison as she has made it here to Moe's toy room. And we're going to give her a look. You know, I'm sure Eartha Kitt, the actress who played this version of Catwoman, um, is very proud because this figure is remarkable. It looks even better in person, um, I'm sure, than what you're seeing on video. I'll try and get all the uh, little edges to her and all the milks and crannies, but this figure is a really, really must for any Batman collector because let me tell you something, this thing is nice and looks just like Eartha Kitt, the way she looked in her heyday as Catwoman acting alongside of Cesar Romero when he played um, the Joker, you know, and, and it, it just goes on. We all know the stories as to what's going on. They had a few different Catwoman that played her, but this version right here looks identical to Eartha Kitt, the one that played her. So let's take a look at the back of this box right here. You could see her right there in her glory, and you could see on the face... Yeah, that, that was the Eartha Kit uh, version. So that goes to show you how good this figure actually looks. Okay, and then it has other things that are available. Um, you also have Batman and Robin in there and the Batmobile. A lot of other stuff. That classic, that classic comic book feel to this whole thing. Uh, that was the way that the original TV show was. All right, folks. What we're going to do is we're going to take her out of the package and we're going to be right back and review her. All right, folks, first off, tail of the tape. Catwoman is checking it at almost six inches tall from bottom of foot to top of hair bun uh, to the top of her uh, little Catwoman ears on her head. Centimeters wise, she's a hair over 15 centimeters. Catwoman tends to bring some things. She brings some little signs. Here's one. Yow. This is something that she would have said. These tend to clip onto them for photo purposes. Give it that old school feel. This one right here says, I, right? These are classic for the old Batman movies um, that they would do. Remember, bam, boom, smash. And right here you have Eartha Kit as Catwoman. This figure is spot on. I love it, love it, love it. McFarlane Toys did an excellent job with this figure. I can't stress it enough um, because they put some craftsmanship into this. And you can see on all over her, her outfit, they even made it sparkle. So they got the little sparkles all over it, the way that she wore it. Um, and her face wise, she looks split image to a very young Eartha Kitt. If you're wondering who Eartha Kitt is, she, you might remember her from, if you've seen the movie Boomerang, she's been in a whole lot of movies. I'll just say that. Uh, but in the movie Boomerang, she is the one, the older lady that Eddie Murphy was trying to sleep with. And she goes up to him and she's like, Marcus. Well, he did sleep with her. And she's like, Marcus, I have no panties on. Right. And she's always purring at him. Right. To remind you that 
she was Catwoman. This figure is just amazing. It's beautiful, well detailed, well proportioned. They did a fantastic job on this, even down to her pointed nails on her hands. Everything is just done up right. Her hair bun on the back, the way that they got it just to pop off of her head like that. This is a, I'm going to say it, it's a sexy piece. Straight up. And they made her well proportioned. So you could check all that out. And they hid a lot of the joints in this thing. Which is insane for McFarlane Toys because... A lot of the time with McFarland toys, they tend to have like a big ball joint sticking out like right there at the ankle or something. But this figure is just very well made. But the only downfall is no peg holes on the bottom. So you got to get her to stand on her own. Um, not unless she is designed for the actual play set and she could just pop into something. Um, I don't know because I don't have that play set. And now I'm kind of interested on getting it because this figure is just so nice all the way down to her necklace, to her belt. Everything is just spot on. All right, folks. So it is review time. Head don't go down too well. doesn't go up because of her bun, but I'm not going to lose this look just to get some articulation. Doesn't hit the Michael Myers, barely goes side to side because the hair gets in the way. But look at this. Look at the craftsmanship. My God, this is a beautiful piece. If you're wondering how I got it, they are hitting Target stores now. You can see it in my last video when I found this thing at Target. They had about, I don't know, seven or eight of them. You don't see all of them on screen, but trust me, they were there. I went behind some things and found even more. They were right there. And I even showed you that it would ring up. So it rang up $17.99. And I found this beauty today and walked out with it for $17.99. So the arms will go up and around. No, no um, butterfly cup joint because you can see the hinge hidden right there. And, but then when you get swivel, the swivel is right here at the top of the elbow. You can see it there, single joint with both arms. Hands will move around really nice. This is a nice piece, okay? Just saying, this thing is really, really nice. And then if you go right here below her bust area to her waist, really good swivel, okay? She will run like this, she's very flexible. Only problem is you cannot get her legs to spread open. They didn't give us that feature on this figure. Um, but when you go down, she has swivel at the knee. Look how they just hid that, that knees right there. You can see the knee and the swivel just goes right underneath it. Okay. Single joint. Knees. Same as the other leg. And you want to see her from the back. There you go. Huge rump shaker on this one for sure. And then her boots, well made. There's no like big old ball joint or nothing like right here that we usually get on a McFarlane figure. Especially the, the female figures which actually just ruins the figure. But this thing is nice. And that's about how you're going to get for her foot movement. You got to literally move it from the... Swivel that's in the knees. Here's how she looks with the eow and the eye all over it. Just clips right on. You can see how she looks there. This is a really professionally done figure all the way around. Here how she looked right in front of the Zoe Kravitz, the brand new Zelina Kyle Catwoman figure. Um, that's how she looks next to her while in front of her. I had to put her a ways in front because this new Zoe Kravitz one is a lot larger of a figure. But as you could tell with those ball joints that are in the bottom of the Zoe Kravitz figure compared to this, the clean lines of this one, you could see exactly what I'm talking about. Here she is right in front of a much larger katana from the Mortal Kombat line from McFarlane Toys. You could see the difference there. 
how they look. Here's how she looks way in front of the very beautiful Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. That's because that figure is on a flight stand. Um, that's how she looks in front of her. Here's how she looks right next to a DC Multiverse's Robin. That's how she looks next to him. He too is from McFarland Toys. Alright folks, that'll do it from most Torum to yours. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video like this one hits. You can also follow us on Instagram at Moe's Toys. That's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. Moe's Toys on Instagram. We're also on TikTok. Check us out there on TikTok at Moe's Toy Room. And right here on YouTube, we are Moe's Toy Room. So from Moe's Toy Room to yours, everyone. Good night.